Welcome to the Wild Mary School Bus. My name is Calvin, but I go by many names here on the podcast. You may know me as Dimitri the Ringmaster, or as the slightly crazy moon sister, or as the scrunter innkeeper number three. Uh, you get the idea. This Dungeons & Dragons podcast may contain fantasy violence, language, and adult themes. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Now, take it away, pothole. <laughs> uh, pothole. The emotions I have is that everyone has good tasting movies except Will. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Wild Manager School Bus, the most unprofessional DD podcast you will ever hear. I, of course, am your DM, and I am clarifying that it is Will Rice that has yeah, a terrible choice. I can't wait to like, quit this podcast because every episode starts with let's beat the shit out of Will and then <laughs> looking him to fill 60% of the dialogue. Does it? Episode. Does wow, it really like always? That's a little. I, of course, am your DM, Calvin Piper, and these. Uh, wonderful folks are the players. Go ahead and introduce yourselves. I am Michelle Piper, and I play Kenneth Quinn. And I'm Liz, and I play Ohiana, the Tiefling Bard. Oh, hi there. Uh, I'm Preston, and I play Lucius Kane, the Azamar Warlock. I'm Will, the other one, uh, that plays <laughs> Aramur, the Leonin Bloodhunter. The one with good taste. But you said wonderful people, so uh-huh. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Will, Valid. you are wonderful. Thanks. I didn't say you're a bad you person. I just that. said you have terrible taste in movies. Yeah, you're kind of being a little shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm surrounded by a lot of people. Drew Love! All over you, Will! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Will and I play Glyph. <laughs> I am Drew and I play Zeph the Draconian Warlock. And we are all having a wonderful time here. And I also play Tabidi. Because Matt's not here. Oh, were we supposed to bring Matt? I in? feel like I should have invited oh, Matt via no. Facebook at some point. That's okay. He's done a great job so far. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into episode 25 of the Godscar Chronicles. So, the last time that we were here, the party had discovered that their new acquaintance, Balefire, was one of the members of the Draconian Ordinance, and after revealing to the party that their, well, to the other members of the Draconian Ordinance, revealing that their version of the story was not exactly true, the party collectively decided that they should investigate the old stomping grounds, uh of their home, a place known as Vic Fry for the Draconians. Uh, speaking to Gail and Tolliver, they beseeched her for a uh, way to get there quickly, and she provided them with transportation, saying to return the next day uh, so that they could uh, make their way to uh, Metal City, a the last piece of civilization before reaching the borders of uh, Krakodar, the home of the dwarves. The party went out and began to gather supplies, finding luck in some places and not as much luck in other places. Nevertheless, everyone went to bed and had a restful evening. Almost everyone. As some had dreams or visions, we can't tell quite yet, of things that were a bit disturbing. And that is where we find ourselves tonight. So... The party finds themselves awake the next day, a full rest being had. You make your way back to House Tolliver and can see uh, when you guys approach, there is uh, a portion of the compound or the the, uh, the buildings, as it were, that uh, appears to have been, stuff has appeared to have been moved aside and their setting in the open courtyard looks to be about a... A small airship of some kind. It looks to be maybe 150 feet long. Uh, probably can't hold more than, you know, a dozen or so individuals, but it is being loaded up as uh, you guys come in. Uh, you are quickly ushered to the boat, um, and you can see Galen is standing there with what looks to be uh, the captain of the boat, uh, a much older gentleman. His uh, 
tan skin turned more of a leather complexion due to many, many years in the sun. Uh, he has a holding a small hat in his hands as he kind of twists it nervously uh, in the presence of a much more imposing uh, Gail and Tolliver, who even in this early morning uh, has is fresh faced and looking uh, very domineering uh, as she is putting people in her place as one of the uh, heirs of House Tolliver. But as you all approach, uh, you can see her kind of turn around and curtly nod to you all. Uh, she addresses all of you. Good morning. I trust you had a good night's sleep. Yeah. Slept like a baby. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> I'm doing oh, great. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for asking. Okay. Thank you. Uh, this is Captain Highland. He will be navigating the ship to Metal City. Uh, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to speak to him, Captain Highland. And you can see the gentleman kind of turns around and is like, Yeah. Name's Highland. Where about hey. you from? What's that? Where are you from? Where am I from? Yeah. Oh, you know, not not far from, well, like originally or like, what do you? Uh, where'd you get your accent from is what I'm asking. That's oh, not... oh, uh, uh, apologies. I'm from, uh. My cousin. I, I don't, I don't believe so. I don't think you are either, but I'm just checking. I'm. Just don't want to make. Some wrong, you know, moves. I don't if, you know, no, I mean, that's not it. They have an app for that nice one. I mean, that. Re- yeah, it's called Ancestry DNA. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I'm serious, guys. No, it's all. It's a sure, problem. It's all so close in Iceland that that won't even work. They really need to do some checking. Can we call Carson and see if that's legit? <laughs> It, no, it is legit. Let's Google it. We don't, we don't need to Google it. I believe <laughs> you. I love cursing over there like, French DNA. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness. Is that, is that a fresh one coming that's, off the boat? Yeah, then they realize it's another white <laughs> blonde, and like there's yeah, nothing like, different okay, about this gene. Oh, no, yeah. He, do, he doesn't increase his chances. Brown of eyes, though, right? So... Uh, we don't even know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're He's like, it's my brother. What are you talking about? I don't know. know. Um, anyhow, oh, uh, Captain next? Highland, he's, yeah, he's uh, I'm from uh, from Goldworth. Very nice. So, Leavenworth, Texas. Goldworth, yeah. It's a small village, not not too far from uh, Colborough and all them. But it's over near the cold, the Iron Coast. All right. So, do I know that place? Oh, yeah, you live near the Iron Coast. Oh, okay, cool, cool, What's cool, his name again? Uh, Captain Highland. Yeah, that's where you picked it up then. All right. It can be only one. <laughs> only, only one captain. Actually, 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 I got a brother. He's also a captain of. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Get it all done. Um, right. Well, well uh, you battle each other, and one of you dies. Well, we we haven't battled yet, but uh, <laughs> he don't show up for another family gathering. We're we're about to have some words. So, welcome aboard. <laughs> Duke, come on. This cool is thing. the. Uh, Take this is the northern breeze. It's a little skiff I got. It uh, it'll get us there. It'll get us to Metal City in about. Uh, it's called the Northern Breeze. The Northern Breeze. Yep. Named it myself. Why? No, no, no reason. All right. Great name. It'll uh, <laughs> it'll get us. It'll get us to Metal in uh, in about four <laughs> days. So uh, bunker down. Uh, help out where you can. We don't expect you to. Do too much, just pull your weight, and uh, yeah. we'll be on our way. So there are skyrits. You know about skyrits, right? Obviously, you do. Oh yeah, skyrits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skyrits are a problem. Oh, uh, we won't worry. We won't worry about skyrits on our way. Since we're in the sky, you know what? Maybe you know I can do some magic and uh, like wanna, take care of them. You want to play defense? You can. You can play defense. I'm. I'm, I'm all for. But uh, man, we'll, uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Shoot, sure, shooting. We're not a large ship by any means, so you know. Having to have to deal with a lot of skywards isn't isn't gonna be uh what gonna about, be a big deal. What so. about sky wolves? Have you heard of them? No, no, they're, no they're sky wolves. wolves. That can fly. No sky wolves. Uh, <laughs> sky pigs though. Sky yeah, pigs. Don't worry about what? sky pigs. Yeah, there's uh, wild hogs that just they, they, they levitate <laughs> and they're they're a hell of a they're as hell big of thing. Dragons. <laughs> well, not as big as dragons, but uh, we, you get about four or five of them. Dragon might be a little worked. They're, uh, they're, they're, they're <laughs> oh my god! Vicious little things. Sky boars. Sky boars. They're not, scores. Is that? No, that's no. not a good pull. Not to, <laughs> no. No sky boars. And you also want to watch. Pretty good. You want to watch out for like the weapons that fly through the air. There's like swords that'll fly through. There's a. You want to watch out for that giant like hammer that, that sky mall. Insight check. I that sky mall that flies through the air and just like smashes. Yeah. What's what's wrong with this guy? Make, make an insight check. 
it's not good. He's <laughs> five. five. No, he no, was. Uh, two, it's a three. Three. He was trying to make a joke before he was interrupted. So, but anyhow, oh. um, so you so guys uh, take it too far to kind of make the oh. other person look. Bad. Sure. Okay. Um. Anyhow, Captain Highland looks at you all and says, "All right, uh, come aboard. We'll uh, we'll head out as soon as everyone's ready." I don't know. I don't have any spells for 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 Sky. <laughs> for Sky. <laughs> don't have any spells for Sky. <laughs> no Sky spells. You know, we we can always use uh, Eldritch Blast. That's what I was thinking, but I don't know what to do. It, it works in the sky too, buddy. Or Mage Hand. The sky pigs. Mage Hand, you can slap down the sky pigs. There's no mud in the sky. Why would the pigs be in the sky if there's no mud? All right, he so. You didn't say there wasn't. Hey, listen, is there sky pigs in sky my manual? Mud in the sky. What's up? My manual. No. Are you sure? I'm there is no such thing as a sky pig. <laughs> now there is. Well, I, I'll go ahead and I'll so add it. Who's just shut him? He doesn't know. Like so now I'm ch- hang on, hang on while I change my encounter from whatever I was going to do to <laughs> Sky <laughs> Pigs. <laughs> 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 three days, Tabidi is just like in a corner making a paper mache pig with wings that he's going to fly around on the last It's day. actually a level 20 <laughs> encounter. Oh my gosh. Sky <laughs> Pigs are <laughs> challenge level 23. <laughs> <laughs> Eldritch <laughs> Sky more than pig. like an Eldritch Sky Pigs? Yes, that makes perfect sense. Oh, that's a good band. Name. Mm. Eldritch Sky Eldritch Pigs. Sky. Yeah. And we're off. All right, so loading into the the schooner, the uh, you guys. <laughs> after a few minutes, you get on board. With, looks to be at a, about a crew of about four or five individuals uh, who are flying with you guys, obviously, because there isn't a whole lot of room on the ship, and you guys take up a majority of it. Uh, we mutiny. Okay. I can't fly. Uh, <laughs> we kill everyone. Yeah, go ahead and crash the ship. Let's no. see how it happens. Uh, but you guys. Take off from House Tolliver, flying up into the uh, air traffic that is, that is perpetually over uh, Mecca City, and begin to make your way out of the city, flying uh, higher and higher before as you begin to coast over what is uh, a, a foot, not a foothill, sorry, a mountain range that lines one side of Mecca City, uh, the large kind of uh, mountain ranges that seem to all kind of have been like disintegrated or crumbled over time just like slowly beginning to like rock slide out into much wider wider portions um but as you guys fly over those mountain ranges you begin to pass over them and as the sun begins to touch the top of the sky you make your way check to spot the rove again go ahead and make a perception check for me as you're out there uh can i can i roll my individual one because i'm obsessed with it yeah because I, cause I totally wholeheartedly believe this one kid that told me that his uncle was the head of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? <gasps> That's a natural two. <laughs> so, um, that kind is, of, is 16. This a 16. Perception yeah. check. Oh, okay. Uh, eight. Nothing. 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 It's somewhere out there. A sky pig. <laughs> <laughs> no, just a, just, an over, just a fat pigeon. I hear they'll eat your um. bones and everything. <laughs> At least they're not wasteful. That's true. Thank you. Um... As you guys crest over this mountain range, (laughs) you now can see uh, this side of the Brasslands is a bit more, uh, there's a bit more fauna than there was uh, coming from Copper Cove to uh, Mecca City, whereas that was mostly grasslands and like wide open plains. This seems to sport a few more forested areas and a few rivers that you can see. There's actually a large river that kind of snakes its way uh, to the left of you guys as you're traveling, and there's a lot of... uh, tree lines that kind of dot alongside it as it goes. And you can also see uh, lots of small villages as you guys are out there. Uh, Many, many small kind of towns uh, from here looking not super far apart, but given this the height of where you are uh, small places that are, you know, out of the way of everything. And there is one uh, main road that does kind of snake uh, kind of adjacent to the river but mostly keeping uh, around the mountain ridge and straight um, and Captain Highland explains that that is the uh, that is the uh, the Black Road is what he as he explains it and he goes that's that's what the, that's the only way to and from Crocodile if you're ever going to get there so that's that's where all our goods go to and from and that's uh, we we stick to that as much as possible if we're traveling this way this is the kind of the main highway for air transportation Highland uh, men yes Highway men what about them. Sky Highwaymen? Skywaymen? Skywaymen. Skywaymen, yeah. That's the thing. Oh, yeah. Skyrits? Yeah. Skyrits, Skywaymen, whatever you want to call them. Scandits? Scandits. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Lucius gets on, like, prone on the deck, just looking up, just like, like keeping his eye out for Scandits. Yep. 
Um, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. As you're scanning, looking for scan bits. I'm rolling shit. Uh, <laughs> 11. Yeah. Um, you don't see anything but just kind of like a bird up ahead. Or a bird up in the air. Cloud, maybe. Which is too nice. Um, you just kind of like stare at that bird for a while. Nice. Um, as, and true to his word, as he's, as he's talking, you guys can see there are a couple other ships that pass by from time to time. Um, but as you guys are traveling the first day, um, nothing out of the ordinary yeah, goes on. I'm assuming you're going to spend some time working on your... Uh, yeah, I'll do working on the stuff, or are you just not gonna? Or you just don't want to talk to me anymore? I'll do what this thing first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, we're talking again, guys. Twenty-two. Great. Twenty-two. Minimum. Um, <laughs> minimal talk. Essentially, yeah. Yeah. Um, you. Uh... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love you, buddy. <laughs> There's one thing I've learned is that you don't get to be an asshole without repercussions. That's fair. That's very true. Um... <laughs> So you uh, a lot of experience being an asshole, right? I didn't say how I learned it. I just said I learned it. It's yeah, it's personal. It's all right. Um, you, with a twenty-two, you can definitely begin construction on uh, this device for her. Uh, do you have a specific design in mind that you're doing, or how do you want to? Uh, yes. Okay. I'll text it to you. Cool. Um, you begin working on that, uh, taking you most of the day no, as you ghosted. as you do that. <laughs> Um, Leave him on red. Kill <laughs> it. All right. Um, Text me, dude. No. Day uh, <laughs> day two rule, day two rules around, and at this point, the uh, roadway has given way to uh, much more forested areas. Uh, and it's at this point you guys can see that uh, the road, the main road, the black road underneath you guys, uh, disappears from time to time underneath the uh, underneath the. Uh, tree line and the tree cover um as this day goes on and everyone's just kind of going about is anyone doing anything in particular you guys just enjoying the ride yeah i'm learning i'm just like shadowing the the captain and you know tabidi is shadowing the first mate and just just really just learning you know like mutineers like how to fly a ship like how to fly a ship Uh um surprisingly go ahead and make an intelligence check for me wow come on <laughs> come, on, have, come on. Oh, 16. 16? All right. Um, you can see, based on uh, based on what the captain has done so far, it looks like the ship is powered by... So whatever uh, this kind of balloon-like structure that hovers over the... Well, it's like smaller balloons, like two like almost like pontoon size uh, devices that hover across the top of it, and they are what looked Ball-on-tunes. it up on... Yeah, kind of like that. Pawn to pawn, pawn tunes. Yeah, I like that one. Um, they are what cause most of the lift, whatever is inside them. Uh, I know at this point, but it seems like what the captain has done is basically set the course in a straight direction, and the boat, without using much steering, seems to head that way. Uh, the directional system is much almost like a uh, I'm trying to think like a bike handle, kind of like this angled like mm-hmm. wood device with these two. Uh, Round kind of like spindles on the sides that he sets his hands in, and he begins. He'll twist them every once in a while, and he'll kind of shift the whole contraption itself to turn the ship. Can right. you show me how that works? I want to do a charisma check. Go ahead and make a charisma check. Ten. Ten. Uh, charisma check or saving. Throw? It captain. Oh. Looks, captain looks over. Uh, he's like, uh, oh, yeah, sure, yeah. It's a, it's a. I mean, you got it, it. takes a while to get get the hang of it, but basically, you're just kind of feeling the direction of the ship using the crosswinds and basically the terrain, and you got to account for you know the warm spots and the cold spots in the air to you know equal out the levitation of the you know the the elevated stuff. It's all technical terms, and to be honest, I haven't done so. It's that. like using the warm currents to keep yourself aloft a bit, and oh yeah, you you got to use it. You got to use the terrain eddies yeah. of the wind and things. Yeah, like that. you got to use your. To be honest, I learned all this when I first started flying, and then once you learn it and take the test, it's like just go, and then you just kind of you, you go fly by the seat of your pants as work. I don't fly by the seat of my pants, but you know. I mean, could I try? Well, sure. Yeah, have give it a whirl. All right. Wow, this is easy. I feel like I've mastered it. Make an arcana check. Oh. <laughs> Ten. Uh, you you don't do anything drastic. 
Uh, but there is one point where you're like twisting one side and kind of like holding the other in place and kind of like trying to turn the wheel to see what would happen. And the whole ship, the back of the ship swings quite suddenly. And everyone on the ship's like, whoa, like gets stumbles over themselves for a second before the captain's like, whoa, whoa nope, you just kind of, you, you limo it out right here. So, and he explains, he's like, see, it takes a little bit of time, but you, 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 you get used to it. So I feel like from that one mistake, I've learned so much. Yeah, you know, you're trial by error, as it were. It's, uh, <laughs> you're doing great. Excellent. Meanwhile, uh, Balefire's standing behind you, just like crossing his arms, just like, what are you doing? Um, well, I mean, I know how to fly myself and I thought this would improve my You almost threw the kid over the edge. That's not that's not flying. Well, he can come right back on. Like that's not a worry. I mean I could get him to, like he, seriously. Yeah. Actually if he had fallen it might have been another good exercise. It's all learning here. Do you want me to throw him over the edge? No 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 no. Alright. No. No yeah. As this is going down, uh Lucius You've been lying on the deck for <laughs> two a days now. Time, this yeah. existential crisis of all of these Without things. Waking, so your eyeballs are burnt. Um, no, it's at it this point. Sometimes. <laughs> it's at this point that you realize. Uh, it's at this point that you realize that that bird that you've been watching overhead has been following you for two days now. Reggie. Uh, and today <laughs> it looks like it, it's getting. It looks like it got a little closer. Reggie, stay there. What, snapping what, are you, what, are you what are you doing? <laughs> you just, you just put your hand up and went silent on a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's not dead air. I don't know All what is. All the attention was on you and no one else is. Can I roll a perception check? Sure, make a perception check. <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> That's a 17 plus 6, so it's 23. Uh, so when you first looked at it, you were like, ah, it's just a bird flying. I named him Reggie. Yeah, Reggie. Uh, Surprisingly, uh, Reggie's keeping up with a very fast ship and is also getting steadily bigger. I'm laying down. Hey, Cap! Yeah, you know, when you use your life. Who? Who's calling? Reg, Who? uh, the guy on the floor. Reggie oh, is what? getting closer. That bird in the sky. Do I shoot it? Do I shoot the bird? What? Who the, who the hell? Look is, up! Who the hell's Reggie? It's a freaking bird, dork! Look at. <laughs> freaking. And he looks up. <laughs> well, shit. And it's at that moment, as he looks up, everyone else looks up, and you realize the rapidly growing size of this bird as it gets bigger. Those movies are bigger. Rock. I can't. And bigger. Can't, bro. Until the wingspan of this thing surpasses even the length of this <laughs> ship. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. As a giant rock descends <laughs> in the sky. Named Reggie, we gave the boss a name. And you hear Reggie, Reggie go. <laughs> Reggie! I need you guys to go ahead and roll <laughs> initiative. <laughs> it's Reggie. Because Just of, get it the out of, funny, your of the funny thing I'd be able to say. Because I would be able to Ooh. say nope, that. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Don't say it. Oh man, that was super close to being something amazing. <laughs> I love how we always do. Oh, that was kind of almost what I wanted. To I be. almost rolled a nat twenty. Oh, let me see. What? I didn't. <laughs> What's that? Oh, thirteen. Oh, sweet. Thirteen plus three, sixteen. Change. Man, the spin you put on that. Thing. That was pretty nasty, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I wish I could bowl like that. Because <laughs> it was a nice line, like, bro. When I met my dad for the first time, we went bowling, and he just kicked my ass. And I was like, I was like, huh? At bowling. At bowling. <laughs> <laughs> No, he beat my ass. <laughs> at bowling? <laughs> at bo I treasure dice. Mm -hmm. You should've... You roll? I did roll. Did you roll natural right. No. Oh. Damn. I always... When I set my dice back down, I always set it I in out. the thing that I want it to be. Oh, yeah. no. I like, start with, to do that. Like, no, it's you're like... Burnt, it, you're using no, up its name. Your, it's natural <laughs> encouragement. All right, so... I I'm sorry. Give me just a second. Every time. They're in their case. You're good, man. <laughs> All right, 25 to 20. 21. 22. Ooh. Oh, gosh. 22 for Zeph. 21 for... Brian, I don't know what the Dude, fuck Bird Anatomy that's is. That's like freaking so much I need to draw birds. Uh, 20 to 15. Uh, 16, right? Yeah, it was 16. Yeah. You got 16. I got 16. <laughs> Not I. 
Not die because I'm 15 to 10? 12. Minus 2 to 12. Yep. I love your character. I got 10. 10. For all, it's a nice change of pace. Yeah, it is. And awesome. would you roll? One. A natural? Oh, no. no, I, I didn't roll a natural one, because if I rolled a natural one, then I would have gotten a zero. Ah, I rolled a two. two. Oh. <laughs> Minus one. Yes. Oh, I thought you had one. Two. All right. No, it would have been funny, though. Okay, so. Zero. <laughs> top of the round. <laughs> Zeph, you're up, buddy. Oh, Ooh, so we're gonna roll for TB. Uh, Zeph is gonna oh, use from. his. Are of we course. Of course. Like, Natural one? No, it's 17 uh, plus whatever he has. Plus a lot. He's a mug. Break me. Uh, so <laughs> is is TB <TV> first? <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, so I, gonna I was going to include him because no you guys are. Because I have boss. more than enough. 17 on a sleep. That's the boss. Like when we're. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to use my action dragon. to actually, Mark, uh, using the <laughs> knowledge I've had Sir, training for the past Sir, few days, <laughs> move the ship out of the way of the world. My water. name is like, Reginald Rapidly, Archibald like, the second alter course. Of, okay. of, of um, Coven Child. A, a rock is you a bird. It is not a, it's not a oh, giant rock. Oh. I, I understand where you're you suggesting that the giant Rio bird Grande. dropped a boulder on No, no, no. This creature is called a rock. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it in the face with. Thank Eldritch you. Blast. All Blast. right, go ahead and roll. How far Eldritch does Eldritch Blast go? Um, uh, uh, sixty. No, that's a dagger, Drew. <laughs> I've never used sixty used feet. One twenty. Yep, yeah, you're fine. So I have an eighteen and a twenty-six. Both of those, Reggie's I believe, hit. Yes, they both hit. Okay. Yeah, because it's a bird. And I'm going to select what is actually a D10 mm-hmm. instead of like. I was like, please don't be a rock. He's uh, like, it's, as it decides, a giant rock kind of like, I fuck. <laughs> Bur- oh, no, dude. dude. He cursed yourself. My bad. Five. <laughs> you fire your Eldritch. I've never done it before. You fire your Eldritch energy. Oh, yeah. The scales creating the focus for your energies. It fires up into the air, hitting the side of this bird. You swear you see a few feathers off into the sky, uh, but it does not slow its descent at all. Oh, okay. uh, end of your turn. Kenneth, you're up. Lucius, you're on deck. All right, sweet. I'm going to use a, a feature called Slayer's Prey, which is a bonus action. I designate a creature, um, and basically I get an extra d6 of damage. Does it have a range? Uh, 60 feet. Am I within 60? Like, you are not within 60 feet yet. This thing is still descending. It's about 120 feet away. 120 as it's descending. All right, we will. Ooh, that's so bad. That changes so much stuff. I know. I thought you rolled 2d2. Oh. It's really. Yeah. yeah, well, I'll just have to wait till he gets a little bit closer All then. Right. You holding? In the meantime, I, well, yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll go ahead and. The, wait, you can only hold the action. You can't hold the bonus action. Correct. You can hold one or the other, depending on what you want to do. Forget it. All right. Forget I'll, it. I'll just go ahead and try to hit it twice with the longbow. Go ahead and fire your shots. <laughs> because I get two attacks. Uh, now, is though are those at disadvantage because of the the how far they are away? The range. I love this. So there's like should be two ranges. The oh, 600. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, you're fine. Okay. So the first one is 20, a natural to hit. Ooh, 20 hits. Yeah. Second one. Ooh, that's a nat one. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. Go off. <laughs> Slay. Prayer slay. The first one. Um, the first one is. Uh, 11 you just points got of some damage. Girl. 11 points of damage. Nice. And then the second one. <laughs> Beans. The last 20 is a uh, 10 points of damage. 10 points of That's damage. My turn. You fire. <laughs> both arrows. <laughs> they head up. And this time they do hit. And you see the bird kind of flap erratically for a moment as it strikes true. Uh, but it, it, it is not slowing down. It is still barreling towards the ship. Lucius, you are up. Uh, so, uh, half my movement to get up from prone. Yeah. <laughs> fair, fair, fair. I mean, like, why not? Yeah, like, you know. Uh, I'm like, oh, Reggie, stop right there, stop right there. I bonus action, form a dread. Uh, <laughs> my shoulder pops out of place. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, right. My jaw unhinges, mm-hmm. and that's it. <laughs> like it's nothing yeah, like. You know. Reggie's like, that's pretty oh, gross, I, 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 man. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't full rest <laughs> like, oh, for, since last time we played. Okay. You should probably full rest. Yeah. Okay. Well, I did that. Um, for my dread, I'm gonna do the HP of it. Yep. What's a D10? 
<laughs> I'm so out what of is it. is a D10? <laughs> out of it. Ooh, nice. Uh, seven mm. plus five for eight. That's like 12. 12. Sounds I checked. It's not that Yes, it is. And then I'm going to do two Eldritch Blasts. Okay. Respect my space, Reggie! <laughs> bow, bow. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your attacks. Yes, sir. Uh, three. Uh, 16 plus eight. Just 24. That'll hit. And that is a D10 of force damage, correct? Mm-hmm. Right? One force damage. One can force make a, damage. Can you, can you make a wisdom saving throw? I most certainly can. <laughs> 120 feet, so that's why I'm not just blasting it, because I would have done something else. Because I'm a support! That is, uh, that is an eight. That's eight. Uh, he is fried. Oh, wait, oh, apologies. He has advantage? That's a 12. So 12, still fits. Okay. Uh, he is frightened. He is frightened, okay. Yeah. That's my space! Okay, yeah, you... <laughs> so he's like 120 feet away still. Yeah, it immediately <laughs> pulls up uh, after seeing you... Uh, Only one point of force damage. Yeah, one point of force damage, it was enough for him to stop. Stand my ground, um, bro. <laughs> okay, and does that, does he get a chance every turn to uh, break out Let me see, uh, where is my features correct? Sure. Um, sure. Uh, <laughs> DC 16 on a fail, it's right until the en- uh, end of my next turn. Okay. Cool. All right, so. Uh, That's actually very helpful. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So, end of your turn is now the rock's turn. The rock is going to not move any further. Yeah. Thank God. We don't want Dwayne the Rock. Bro, on no, this dude, ship. a rock would grab the ship and just move it around like it's nothing. We don't want uh, it Yeah, so it does not approach you any further, but it does stay within the, the 120 feet that it is currently at, because your ship is still moving. How do I scare uh, it? But it is not... Uh, Do a spooky dance. Yeah, it is. It's not leaving the space. So, Glyph, you're up. Ohiana, you're on deck. Okay. Um, That's freaking terrifying. I don't have anything I can do at this range. Uh, can I hold a spell? Is that feasible? Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to hold a spell uh, to be triggered if he comes within 30 feet. Okay. What uh, what spell are you holding? I can't tell you that. Okay, That's fine. Just a spell. I have a question. 100%. Yeah. Does Highland have uh, initiative? He does. The okay. the ship does have its own initiative. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's, that's okay. Um, okay. End of your turn. Oh, Hiana, you're up. Um, I also would like to essentially hold my action. Sure. Until it comes closer. Okay. Um, are you holding anything specific, or are you just waiting until it gets close enough? I'm assuming a spell of some sort. Sure. Absolutely. Um, okay. So, end of your turn. It is now Balefire's turn. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Balefire is like kind of like hunched over near like where you you were at the uh, helm of the ship and kind of looked around. And he's, what, what do you want me to do? Burn it. Get something cool. All right. And he kind of flexes his arms and and holds his arms up and you watch as it looks to be like this internal fire boils up inside of him. The runes across his skin lighting up with the backlight of this fire as he holds his arms out and launches two boom, columns of fire out and into the sky Jeez. firing his scorching ray. Hey. That's the first time I've ever seen He's gonna that. go ahead <laughs> and fire three rays actually. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and make three attacks. First attack. Uh, hits. Second attack. Also hits. Third attack also hits. Yay! Great job on all of those. So, 2D. A spear rises up from the deck of the ship. Yeah. Ah. Reggie! Okay. Incinerate Ooh. Reggie. All right. Eating rock tonight, <laughs> but in a good way. You want to eat rock so much. 18 points of fire damage to the rock as. He hits it with all of that damage. As he finishes casting the Scorching Ray, he lowers his arms, and you watch as the, the spines across his back flare for a second with that purplish grow, glow. As he, oh, shit! As he, like, steps back and is going to go ahead and make a Wisdom saving throw. He's okay for right now, but you see he's, like, fighting with these things that are, like, starting to, like, glow with an intensity, and the flames across his body are still, like, burning. Um, but yeah, so he's, we'll see how he, that pans out for him. The crew of the ship on their turn are going to put everything they have into moving the ship forward because speed is the only thing they have on their side. Uh, so they are going to go ahead and give the ship the dash action to give it uh, more speed as it goes. So the rock is maintaining, but I believe 
It is... Nope, it maintains, because this is 120 fly feet. This thing does not. Um, so, yeah. So, it is maintaining. It's not gaining any speed right now. So, but we'll see uh, next turn. Ormir, you so are up. It's still 120 feet away? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to move to the closest <laughs> spot that I can, mm-hmm. and then... Launch two Eldritch Blasts at it. Oh, Yo, okay. You got like six pairs of Eldritch Blasts here. Yeah. This oh one's gosh. like a reddish. That's a like pair. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, if I can yeah. do more damage than five, that would be cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a dice roll. Ooh. Well, one definitely it, doesn't so. hit with a 12. Mm, the other one's a 17. That'll definitely hit. Okay. Unless you got an invocation that makes you add your modifier, but I took going invisible. <laughs> so. Four points. Four points of damage as you Ooh. fire your elder blast the scars across your arm, beginning to bleed a little bit with residual blood as the magic <laughs> fires out and strikes across this thing. Um, it still looks intimidated by you guys, but it is definitely pissed. Yeah. You're not giving it uh, a great time right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, ending your turn, it is now top of the round. Top of the round. Zeph, you are up. Kenneth, you're on deck. Yeah, let's go. If you enjoy classic D&D and dark fantasy in the tradition of Martin, Tolkien, or Vance, you might enjoy Tale of the Manticore. It's a mashup between an actual play and radio-style storytelling. Made for a mature audience, Tale of the Manticore pulls no punches and lets the dice decide where the story goes, who survives, and who does not. This summer, Tale of the Manticore rolls right into Season 2. There will be more action, more nostalgic fantasy, and more heartbreak as the dice roll up and prop right over the characters, and the story unfolds as it is being written. If you've wanted to check out the show but the backlog looked like just too much, this is the chance to get into it. I'm starting from scratch. New characters, new plot, same danger. See you this summer. Hey, um, here, you take something like, for yourself. You're kind of losing it. Just <laughs> calm yourself down. <laughs> um, maybe, oh, maybe make yourself money, scarce honey. for a while. You great job. I'm gonna do whatever I can. And you do great again. He just like builds up energy in his hands, trying to focus a little better. Okay. And it's an 18 and a 22. To hit? Yeah. Yep, both hit. Man, I'm gonna try to roll these tens better. I believe in you. Why say that? Why say like you're, you're so contagious? Uh, eight. Eight. All right. Eight points of damage. You fire your utility blast across uh, the across the back of the ship and striking into the feather and flesh of this creature. Um, all right. End of your turn, Kenneth. You're up. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Okay, um, I'll go ahead and is, uh, that's what I'll do. Beast, right? uh, I'm going to cast first level Hail of Thorns and try to attack it and see ahead. if that works. So, two attacks. Uh, first one is like 17 plus 9. So that, and the next one is a unnatural 20. That also has to Sweet. Um, that's a talk. Um, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. uh, uh, 11 points of damage for both of those, right. and then right. for the Hail of Thorns damage. Mm-hmm. It's not like people are Yeah, but your teeth are your white. It's monstrosity. Is it? I can't use it. It's an extra one point. To be able to turn into a rock. That's it. That makes sense. One point of extra Here's thorn damage. Yeah. All right. As you fire the arrow, as it goes out, all <laughs> thorns oh. explode from it. As it, it needs to make that. a dex throw. I'm so Dexterity sorry. Dexterity saving throw. That is a six. It fails and does take one point. <laughs> one point of damage. Very nice. Nicely done. All right. Oh. End of your turn. Lucius Kane, you're up. Um, I'm sorry. This is like this is like monks perma stumming, but I'm gonna keep on shooting it. Sure. Uh, <laughs> I want to stay away. Uh... Cool. Lucius is gonna get back prone on the deck, so it would, like if he got close, it would have to like wait. <laughs> I could. Mm-hmm. I'm a more of a wisdom save to see if I'm scared of it. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. Okay. Sorry. All right. I'm gonna shoot it two more times. All right. Go ahead and roll. 
I that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. All right, uh, twenty-two for the first. Twenty-two hits. And natural twenty on the second. Both hits. Let's one go. more damage. Okay, first one. Seven points of force damage on All the first right. one. Seven. Okay, now roll ten because I love you. Okay? okay. Yeah, go for it. Well, no, that's two. That's four. <laughs> four points of uh, force damage on that one. Yeah, that's fine. I still love you. Game though. a chance. All right, so you fire two more shots across, uh, striking into it. Uh, all see, right, so let me see. end of your turn. Wait, hold on. Can I see if the the thing procs again? Let me see. Sure. On once on each of your turns. So can you make another save? I most certainly can. Okay. That's gonna be a 19. Yes, he saves. All right. Damn, I should have been a coward. <laughs> I should have <laughs> been a coward. Uh, All right. Do I have my bonus action? Sorry. Let me see. Yeah, as you certainly want to, yeah. Um, bonus action. Um, is there anything? Is there anywhere on the ship where I can just like take cover from this thing that might sweep me off the side? I mean, there is like the storage underneath, but it's pretty well packed with. Can I cram myself inside a, a, yeah, a barrel? You could certainly try. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead and make a uh, big uh, acrobatics, acrobatics check for me. Yeah, uh, uh, natural eighteen plus three. Oh yeah, Swoo. in you are. <gasps> In as best you can. Thank you. Uh, it is now the rock star. As it begins if to, can, as it flapping for a moment after getting struck with all of these shots, immediately flaps one more time and then whoo, throws its wings down and bullets towards this thing, gaining more speed and overcoming it, uh, closing the distance as it reaches out. You watch its talents reach out and grab onto the sides uh, of the real ship. Real quick, before it does that, I think Liz and I were holding spells. You most certainly oh, you were. were. Yes, okay. you were. Uh, can you make a con save, please? I most yes. certainly can. You're casting Butterfingers on it, so it's just like, it's yeah. just that, that is a... <laughs> <laughs> that is a 15? Damn it. That's Damn. right at my save. I yeah. can it, that that I, disappears. It a, dissipates. Roll a six plus nine. So I'm not going to tell you guys. Okay, well, I okay. to make um, another con save. Yes. Another con save? Okay. Another con save. That's it's better. Natural 19. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. Cons, it's, only, cons, it's a good thing, man. It's, uh, it's, 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 I mean, it's a big ass bird. I have good cons. Uh, big, old, big old bird. My bad. Uh, but anyhow, as it grabs on. You grab it on the boat. The boat immediately <laughs> lurches to a stop. Uh, I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw on the ship. Uh, do I do that at disadvantage because inside a barrel? No, you just fall. <laughs> oh, that's fine. You I'm, just, already, I'm already prone all the time. Roll. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. 27. 27. You're fine. 15. You're fine. 11. You're so fine. We're, I'm just prone now, right? You're fine. Okay. I'm just prone. I'm gonna fall. You're just in a barrel. It's not hey, technically prone, okay. but okay. But roll. 12. 12. You're fine. Oh. Yeah. DC was 10, so you're good. Okay. Um, okay, Barrel so <laughs> as it grabs on, it is now <laughs> flapping its wings, trying to stop the ship, uh, and it is going to go ahead and unleash some attacks on the ship, the okay. ship, and the people on it. So uh, basically, basically, here's here's how I'm going to describe it: the bird is just like just striking at the ship in general. Yeah. So you are going to be in its direct line of fire. So you will take some of the damage while the boat takes other parts Do of the damage. Do we still roll like deck saves or like a stop roll AC? It's going to roll to attack people. But if it still. hits you, you're only going to take a portion of the damage as some of the I portion see. goes to the boat itself. Because again, it's just molly whopping the crap out of the <laughs> boat. Uh, okay, so it's going to make its, it's like two... Moment, like... It's going to take two attacks, one with its beak and one with its talon. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I always do, and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of you. I'm going to roll a d6 and see who it hits first. That's a one. It's me! So it's going to go ahead and do its beak attack. That is a natural 19. Yeah, that will do it. All right, so you take... I'm going to snap the crap out of this bird. Oh, that was a lot. Hey, well, a rock, portion of it is going to be going to the ship. Rock, rock, rock. And the ship's have more HP than uh, uh, You take seven points of uh, piercing damage. Ouchie damage. And the boat's going to go ahead and take the rest of that. How much is that? Uh, what's that? How much is that? If I 13 ask? points of Ooh. piercing damage. 13? As, yes, 13. Oh, that's, that's uh, so it's going to, as it... It bites down onto like the side of the ship and like begins to rip. And Kenneth gets hit by the debris in the beak uh, as it unlocks one of its talons and then regrips down further so like, onto the boat. It's like close, like so the on the ship. back of the ship. It's grabbing onto the back yeah. of the ship right now. Um, so it unleashes, unhooks one talon and then grabs further up. Going, it's going to go ahead and try to hit somebody else while it does that. So that is uh, three. So Kane, 
You I'm, are... in, I'm in the barrel. <laughs> do I get barrel mitigation? You do get a little bit of barrel. Barrel AC? We'll get a little barrel AC. Yes! That one. So we'll go ahead and do that the barrel for AC you. Like two. I'll get plus two to my, or plus one to my AC. I'm happy in the barrel AC. That is a 16 to hit. 16 to hit? Yep. Barrel AC? That what is your AC? 14. 14. Yeah. I say the barrel will give you... Probably two. Yeah, yeah, it gives you two. So he just hits. Yeah, just barely. He really hits. hates barrels, man. Yeah, it does not it like. Just them. had my flesh in there. Um, all right, Shield. So. Just kidding. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> shielding inside of a barrel. <laughs> all right. So he's gonna go ahead and. Yeah. Well, well I did all of that last campaign. Though. This is me being way more chill yeah. in this campaign. Same with me. Yeah, your, your character is goofy, like fighting a rat 1v1 in the room for like 10 rounds. You take four points of blood, oh. uh, also, wait, slashing damage. Slashing Smacking. damage. Um, and the boat is going to go ahead and take uh, nine points of I'm, uh, I'm just a lowly, damage. I'm just a lowly, uh, what's it called? Um, I need you to go ahead and make a... Deck save? Drink save? No, you don't make a save. Yes, uh, as the Talon <laughs> lands on the ship, you yeah. are trapped underneath the Talon. You are considered grappled. Ah, <laughs> uh, the barrel crap! Like, is the barrel destroyed while, like, the, the oh, it is, is, like, on me? <clears throat> crunched. Uh, so, yeah, you are under the crushing weight of the Talon right now, but you are considered grappled. You can, uh, you can escape on your turn, but you are immediately <laughs> grappled. All right, okay. so that ends its turn. Glyph, you're up, Okiana, you're on deck. Okay, okay, uh... <laughs> you guys see me? <laughs> So I'm going to cast, uh, screw it, I'm going to cast Branding Smite on uh, okay. Pothole, and sure. I'm going to shoot twice, and Pothole is going to do his Force Empowered Rend, okay. maybe. That's such a cool name, if it like, is. for that attack. Yes, sure. Force Empowered Rend, rend. Uh, baby. It's like, some like Dooms is just playing. 15 to hit? Yeah. 15 just hits. Okay, so 14 for hits? Pothole, that's... Just hits. Just hits. 15 just hits. So. Oh, 15 just okay. hits. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a big thing. So it's 12 yeah. points of force damage. 12 points of force damage. Oh, great radiant damage. Oh, damage. So I, took, I took in one shot, right? As, as he runs I mean, over, as he runs over and <laughs> hits it as hard as he can on one of the legs of the creature. Yes, and then I will shoot it two shots. 2x. Two okay. Uh, 24 and, uh, nope, not gonna do it. Natural okay. one on the second one. Oh. Like, Does I'm your grapple, gun so I can touch his hand. backfire? Because no, it, it's, it's magical. It's it doesn't sure. fire. Uh, okay. So seven. I'm not seven, seven points of damage. Yes. Grapple makes you zero. All right. So yeah, you fire your two shots. One going one going oh, wide, one hitting it. true. It's as uh, Pothole begins to blah, blah, hit it as hard as he can on the leg, trying to uh, dislodge the yes. talon from uh, <laughs> where Kane is being pinned under. Oh, Kiana, you are up. Um, how I can my ribs. close my is this thing to me? Uh, it can hit you. Okay, it's pretty so close. would you say it's within a 15 foot cube? It could definitely, yeah, it's within cool, 15 cool. foot cube. And then I would like to cast Thunder Wave <laughs> sure. in its nice. general direction. Yeah. Um, so it needs to make another con save. Constitution saving throw from the rock. That is a 12 <laughs> plus 9. That's going to be a 21. Cool. So it does save. Um, mm -hmm. Should take half damage? Probably uh, I believe so, yes. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I have mines too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. 13 points 13 of damage? 13 points of damage, yeah. Can, can, I, can I? Yes. I forgot I had this. Sure. So when. Uh, can I do. Can I proc Rebuke of the Talisman when it's like. Is hit by attack uh, when the rare of your talisman is hit by attack. You can see within thirty feet of you, which is like right next to me, and I'm, sure. that's me. You can use your reaction to deal three psychic damage. Yes. And push push it up to ten feet away. But it's grappled me, so that'd be a bad idea. So I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna not do that actually. Okay. It push me off with it. So. Yeah, because it would. Yeah, you go with I'm it. A, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Never mind. But like, that's good to know for future reference. Good to know. I did not know I yes. that. So. That's absolutely good. All right. End of okay. Is that the end of your turn? Any bonus actions you want to try to do? Not at the moment. All right. Does, does anyone's attack have any effect on that grapple? Uh, I would say possibly. It's like if like you targeted it or something? Yeah, if you wanted to target it, I'd say you could reduce okay, the DC no, a little like bit. I'm just thinking if people are wailing away at it, does it like 
give him advantage. Yeah, he's it would. Yeah, it would help him. It would definitely help him if you wanted to do it specifically to that. So. Also, thought, sorry, I added everything together, it so it would be six points of damage. Or, six points of damage. Yes. All right. Because I forgot to I cut it in half. Melee. Right. So, right. Five thousand cuts. Okay. So we'll put a little bit more back onto him. All right. End of her turn. It is now Balefire's turn. Uh, Balefire is going to follow your instructions and not do anything. Or do you want him to? What do you want him to do? Protect himself is what I. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and uh, he's gonna roll to see what his decision is on that. Uh, yeah, he's he's not gonna do anything this round. He's gonna like try to quell the fire uh, in his body. Yeah, and yeah, not. the idea being like don't you don't, don't stoke this to the point where it's out of control. Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna quell the fire. He's gonna not use that That's other smart. spell, That's good. That's and good. we'll mm-hmm. see how he feels next time based on your guys' encouragement. Uh, it is now the crew's turn. The crew uh, can't fly anymore, uh, so they are going to stab in his eye. <laughs> uh, sure, we'll go ahead and roll an attack to see if the crew can like start throwing like they're throwing slingshots and arrows and stuff as best they can. But they're not they're like not even level they're, one. They're, they're shooting the slingshots. They're NPCs. The yeah. Yeah. <laughs> throwing all kinds of stuff. They're old to three. Damn. It's you know Real? it's a good attempt. Advantage for the power of friendship. Uh, sure, advantage for the power of friendship. That's four. <gasps> so. Damn it! It's only worth one. <laughs> Armir, you are up, sir. Uh, well, I am going to. Where is it? My my crimson right. Yes. So. Activate the crimson right. So go ahead and roll your damage on that. Claw myself two. Two points of damage. Uh, very cool. So and yeah, what are you so activating? The, well, that's my uh, the lightning on my mall. Lightning, yeah. So you activate so, the lightning yeah. <laughs> across your lightning. I'm going to run your run up and ball. make two attacks. Yes, you on will, the sir. Talon that's holding down. Absolutely. Go ahead, roll those two attacks. Well, oh, nope. That's a seven. Okay. That one misses. Okay, that was almost really bad. 18. 18 will hit. Yeah, you swing the first time, but the ship rocks unexpectedly, and you swing goes wide, so you bring it down the second time to do your attack. So this is the bludgeoning. Yep. Which is eight points. Eight points of damage. Nice. And an extra five points of lightning. Oof. Man, uh, so I'm just curious. So it says, like, yeah. I'm rereading the review thing. Uh, it says Pooch is up to 10 feet away from the talisman's wear, but I'm assuming since... But, like, so it says from, Yes. right? Yes. Would that help with the grapple, or would it not? I would have to look at that more specifically, because if, that's you weird, are, if right? you're grappled, I don't think it can break a grapple, yeah. but there is... The verbiage doesn't... The it's verbiage doesn't say it pushes you away. Let me... I'll look into that. No, for, for Let's now, say for it now helps. It's grapple. We'll say it helps you do DC. I will go ahead okay. and give it some more DC lowering for that one. I'm totally fine with um, it not. Yeah. Like, Alright, so, end of your turn, Ormir, top of the round. Zeph, you're up. Zeph! Kenneth, you're on deck. Yeah. So you're still grappled? Yes. That's nice. Um, so, <laughs> Zeph, uh, seeing the uh, just thunder wave, long, was it, used by Okiana? Yes. yes. The it thunderous right. blast hit yep. the, hits the rock. It's going to um, run, jump, glide, and attach himself to the side of the wave. Just, like, grab on. Okay. Actually, he doesn't quite grab. As soon as he becomes right next to it, he's going to then uh, cast Thunder Step. Okay. Um, to so I need a con save. Sure. So he's basically Wait, making a small bomb of himself. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Throwing yourself at it and then thunder stepping away, causing damage as you do so. Yeah. Okay. What'd you roll? Uh, well, I rolled a seventeen plus nine, Fuck. so twenty six. And it does nothing. It doesn't do any damage. Period. Or does it do half? Um. It might do half damage. Because like it's a thunder spell. I would assume so. Sorry, um, I didn't read that because you know, Drew. You didn't. You didn't Fair. grab me while you thunder stepped. <laughs> you can bring someone with you when you thunder step. Oh wait, he threw himself no, at the rock, I not at you. Yeah. Oh. Of course, you, I could have half as much on a save. Your hand and half as much on a successful back. save. You still do damage. So, so go ahead and roll um, half as much as a successful okay. save. So go ahead and do three d ten damage. Okay, it's fine. Was he next? Will is over here. I think that's it. That's it. Damage to the ground where you teleport to. There you go. So it's yeah, like is he doing it at the rock? Yeah, he's doing it at the rock. Because I'm right there. Uh, it's 18. also a big rock. I don't 18? Know. Okay, it's up 18 in half? Oh, sorry. Nine, sorry. Nine points. I just All got right. excited yeah. that I was doing any damage. Yeah, like, oh, no, you're good. You're good. Take it All right, yeah. So you launch yourself at this rock, like land near its face as it like looks at you. <laughs> disappear in an explosion of sound and force as it like. And as it flings its head inside, you watch as like 
cartilage from its beak shatters across it as it <gasps> as it like, in, impacts it. He has like and, a human mouth. It hurt. It's, it's looking. Disgusting. It's a little hurt now. Oh, it's looking, oh, like, cool. looking like it took some uh, Reggie. some Pish. some heavy hits. Die. So. Um, okay, so end of Zeph's turn. Kenneth, you're up. All right, perfect. I'll go ahead and use that Hunter Sense uh, since he's within 60 feet. He is now, yeah. Or, or, hunt, or Slayer's Prey. Slayer's Prey. Same thing? Slayer's Prey is what Slayer's I mean. Slayer's Prey. Yep. Is it different? Uh, Very different. Yeah, basically it just gives me a D6. That's what Hunter's Mark does. Uh, but it has more cooler stuff or something? Yes, and they stack, so eventually. Oh, what? And, well, I still have Hail of Thorns up, so I'm just going to roll Still, with though, it's just All a right, stack. So that's super cool. Two shots with the longbow. It's a We're going to try it. That's a 17 yeah, plus 9. I'm sure it hits. Yeah, uh, the other one is a 12 and like, will not. So you stay in combat, yep. like the more you stack. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. So um, we'll have to make a um, deck save for the Hail of Thorns. Dexterity saving throw. Lightning. That is a 13 plus 4. It's a 17. It does pass, so it takes half of 3. So that's half of 3, and that's we round down. 2. Okay. Um, so that is a total. Oh, and this little guy. Um, 13, 2. Um, sorry. You're good. Sit, what? No. Sorry, what? Good for eight points. Wait, yes. Uh, 19 points of damage altogether. 19 I points of damage altogether. D6, Very nice. D10, that. Yeah, he's de- yeah, you're, yeah. Do- you're doing some damage to him, and he's not not too keen on it. Lucius, you are up, sir. I'm going to roll to see what Fragment takes over and see if he's going to do something aggressive or try to get out. Okay. Natural one. Okay, he's going aggressive. Bonus right. action, uh, Hex. Okay. Um, the sh- the smoke from your coffin immediately dissipates out into the ground and begins to wrap itself around the claw of this creature. Um, <laughs> could it like he smashes it and then a bunch of smoke emanates and then wraps around? Yes, it. the smoke's <laughs> like it's like it's like whoa, what's it full of? Yeah, <laughs> it's full of Lucius baby. ashes. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm gonna Four do this thing I. that since I took cleric initiate, I have uh, inflict wounds. I gotta try at least once per day. Sure. I'm gonna send it. <laughs> All right, you send it, my guy. I'm gonna roll. Plus six to hit. All right. Please hit. Once. I love you. No matter what. Okay. No, I hate myself. Uh, 13. 13. 13. I need a 15 to hit. 13 does not hit. You, Damn it. You place your hands on it, but as you do, it presses down one more time and kind of pushes your arms to the side right as the magic dissipates out into the air, missing its target. Damn. I was going to do 3D10. All right. End of your turn. Depression. Uh, disadvantage on strength checks. Strength checks. Very nice. Uh, okay. Uh, end of your turn is now the rock's turn. The rock is going to go ahead. One and day is going to hit. It's going to be fun. two more attacks doing what it does best. <laughs> You'll get there. First attack is on Ohiana. Yes. It's beak attack. That is going to be a lot to hit. A natural fifteen to hit. <laughs> that meets. Okay. So that's going to be. My eleven X. It's going to be. Plus, it's probably looks at you. Yeah. That's going to be eight points of uh, piercing damage to you as it bites down and breaks another part of the ship off. The ship is also going to take damage on that one. Um, I would like to cast a reaction whenever I You can. most certainly can. What would you like to cast? Um, Hellish Rebuke. Sure. Go ahead and do so. Oh, burn, burn. Rebuke him. Hellish Rebuke. Um, needs to make a deck save. It most certainly can. That is a... 11. That fails. Okay. It takes 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Nice. As it bites down, it immediately recoils as fire fire flares away from the spot where Ohiano is standing. Uh, It's going to go ahead and unhook its other talent and wham, uh, go down and try to hit somebody else. And that's going to be... Zeph. Bro, just hit me again. I'm in a barrel. That is a natural 17 to hit. Oh, what is this? All right. Set the wire. It hates me. <laughs> I feel like Lucius like, is, is very unlucky when it comes to combat scenarios. Like, either I got 10 rats around me, or like... Oh, eight points of I'm in a barrel, slashing damage. Stuck under a talent. Ouch. And the boat is going attacks. to take another six points oh. of slashing damage as well. 
It's a very interesting. Boat is, the boat it's is from starting from to groan and creak so under the uh, abuse of this creature. It is not looking great. We have to kill the rock before it kills the boat. Glyph, you are up. Ohiana, you're on deck. Okay. I'll summon lesser demons down its throat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll both just take our combined three attacks. Go ahead and do your attacks, my guys. Uh, natural 18. That'll hit. Uh, 14. Yep. 14 does hit? No, 14 dying, sorry. Okay, and a natural 13, so. Um, yep, so two hit. So, so was it one of your hits and potholes hit? Yeah, so it was me, me, pothole. Okay. So one of each. All right, sure. Go ahead and roll your attacks on those. Uh, it's 14 from the pistol. 14, jeez. Uh, four from pothole. He actually has deep rolling. Four from so pothole. Oh, my gosh. Together. You fire your uh, pothole hits him again on the leg as you fire your shot over uh, on the side of its beak where this the that part is shattered and you crack another part of it as another chunk of it flies away and now just like this now it's bleeding profusely from that side as it's shaking its head back and forth <laughs> flapping its wings at this point the boat which was still propelling forward as it flaps in protest stops and like even flies uh. back a little bit from the sheer force it's of throwing it day. back. Um, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> End of Glyph's turn. Ohiana, you are up. This one. Hurt their feelings. Um, I'm so sad. One day, a flick will hit. <laughs> listen, I'm just gonna. We'll be here for it. We listen, all will. Listen, whenever. Thank you for listening, listeners. If I ever change my class somehow, like. I would like to take, in, like, inflict wounds and be able to cast it at a super high level and just hit once. We all have dreams, buddy. And like, I want to do 10v10 necrotic damage one day. Mm-hmm. I just want to blow someone up. Um, I would love for you to make another con save. Another constitution saving throw. Certainly. <laughs> Let's see how well it does. Yeah, like, con saves are so not a good idea against this. That I is know. a. I mean, roll, not real bad. That is a 12. Ooh. It fails. No, it's no. 12 oh, plus 9. Oh, you uh, little. And then it takes half as much damage. Okay, sure, um, sure. From Shatter. Okay, as you fire your shatter spell, causing the air around it to... You have a lot of thunder As the psychic damage inflicts its mind for... Okay. So it's like one, two, seven, right? So eight points. Eight points of damage. Oof, all right, yeah. Looking hurt, guys. Looking like it's getting beat. Oh, you bastard! All right, uh, it is now Balefire's turn. Balefire is... Chilling. <laughs> Just going to roll. Mm-hmm. 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 He looks like he might do something. Mm-hmm. We'll see what happens. He's looking spicy. He's looking like no, he do something. Spicy. The crew is going to go ahead and do their roll. He, he ate like a habanero and start. Oh my gosh, natural 20 on the cruise roll. Wow. 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 Friendship! Friendship! They roll six points of damage. <laughs> How do they want to do this? <laughs> How do they want to do this? Six points of damage. <laughs> no, they keep throwing, like, throwing pots I mean, and pans and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, it's starting to look like it hurts Bonk. a little bit. Uh, Oromir, you are up, sir. Uh, I'm going to use my blood maledict on okay. the rock. Ooh. Um, as Sub- I begin to bleed more. Yep. Taking, Take because more I'm going to amplify it. Yeah, you are. Two more. Oh, okay, that's not, I'm getting that's really, really lucky. Actually, yeah. yeah, you're doing great on that. Uh, mm-hmm. So I gain advantage on my next strike. Yes. And now my the lightning on my maul begins to crackle louder. Even and more energy. More. Yeah. Sounds oh, like a Tesla oh. coil. Yeah. So advantage strike. Wow. Well, that was probably the worst advantage strike. Oh. <laughs> Total of eight. Uh, oh. Does that hit? That eight no. does not hit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well. Bad rolls was... exist at this tape. I kind of suck. I love you, I but mean, you need to spread it it's around. It's pretty, though. Yeah. It was very pretty, but I didn't uh, hit anything. Yeah, you, you, you swing things. wildly oh, trying to hit it. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm the rock reacting to all the other shots it's taken and the boat rocking back and forth does not uh, mm. give you a great uh, stable ground, unfortunately. Do you have so, a shotgun? Can you just um, End of your turn. Goes back up to Zeph. You're up, buddy. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add a little flavor to this. So sure. When, when he did that thunder... Uh, step. He he. Where he stepped to uh-huh. was onto the claw that's got his hand, his friend under it. <laughs> yeah. <And> he, <laughs> it's not that big. <laughs> and he, are you, are you saying I'm big? And, and he grabs, he grabs his whatever bit of his friend is sticking out from sure. here, and thunder steps away again. Oh. 
What? Is this gonna? Oh, pack spells, man. <laughs> okay. So I know it's a con save. It's gonna be okay. Half Go ahead and roll your roll your, your con save too, there, buddy. Oh, wait, does it do damage on where My you ta- like no, cast it away? His. Oh, he was wailing away at the, the yeah he was wailing yeah, away at the fair. claw that was oh you're well. seventeen that's that work nineteen all right oh, oh whoa that's weak roll well whenever I'm in attack <laughs> should should I have a rolled since he's helping no hey. he's taking you away Seven. it happens after you leave no oh, it's okay. basically like where you are yeah it's like a second after you leave it explodes I see I see uh, so. eighteen so half nine again nine points of damage to the claw. all fine, right I love you how much damage Lucius and Seth. No, um, as no. Zeph bamps away with uh, Lucius, the explosion of force energy causes the rock to reel back, and that claw <laughs> lets go at that point. Nice. At that moment, as it's flapping there in space, not holding on to the boat, you see uh, Captain Highland grabs the, the device and shoves it forward, and the boat whoa, begins to rocket forward and down as fast as it can away from the rock. Yeah. Um, as he's flying downwards, the rock begins to like re-correct itself and begins to start diving towards, and at that moment you see Balefire steps up to the back there and ho- grasps his hands together and draws a line. You see fire <laughs> across his arm, and as that happens in the sky, a wall of fire appears, causing the rock to and like flying backwards, um, giving you guys that precious few more seconds as he maintains the wall of fire nice. to dive down and away uh, far enough to where the rock seems to lose interest uh, in yeah. you guys. Can I shoot you, it? Just be angry. You can shoot this direction. Fire, 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 fire. Yeah, I would, I would shoot at disadvantage. I don't care. I just want to. I'm not angry at Reggie about the arrow through the firewall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, try that. Yes. Go ahead. Time. Try it. Yeah, right, can I roll disadvantage? Twice, sure. Yeah. Okay, sweet. I just I hate Reggie. I got beef with Reggie. Uh, oh yeah, both of those, those are gonna hit. Um, They're at disadvantage because it's past 150 feet at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna roll two natural twenties right now. Disadvantage. Wow. That's what I did there. <laughs> so disadvantage, 22. I, damn. I missed one. Okay, so disadvantage, 22. Uh-huh. uh-huh. For second disadvantage, 13. Oh, I missed. 13 will hit. All right. I can use my so the first one. Tonight. I and cannot. I still have another that, round. and he needs to make a dex save against more... Uh, Hail of Thorns? Yeah. Does it do it every time? Yeah, every hit. All right. Dex save. That's an eight. Hey, You're a monster hunter. You need to add this to your compendium. So all of that. Uh, so nine plus four. That's thirteen points of damage. Thirteen points of damage. All right. It's dead. Does the arrow make it? You don't know. Does he burn a little bit because you don't know? You're right. hard to see behind the giant wall of fire that was created by the fire dragon. Uh, you fired your eldritch blast. I rolled. A, I rolled a natural twenty to six. Uh-huh. I rolled a eighteen out of five. Yeah. So. <laughs> Just go wide. There's timelines. Um, yeah. As they fire off into the distance, the rock considers its challenge and decides, maybe not today, as it flies away. And you guys safely make it closer to the ground, but further away. And continue your journey further towards Metal City. So, uh, I'm going to use the bathroom real quick, and then we will finish up this episode. Give me a second. Lucius hugs. How, how can you not finish it now? Because I have to. Be... Oh my god. That's so embarrassing. Gosh, indeed. I hug. I hug. I, Lucius hugs Zeft. Yeah, we hug. We hug. You were supposed to get so the excited. hug. Yeah, I'm so oh, sorry I didn't think to do that man. before. <laughs> Blood maledict for the first time. I'm just yeah. happy I'm alive. <laughs> I yeah. did it. And then I've read it. I'm closer to open now. Three. I'm going to be No, it wasn't. That was atrocious. He could have. Like, he could just use, like, a attack of his turn to squeeze it. I want to just point out how well Will is doing being, like, <laughs> being obstinate that, like, even through all of my fumbling through my spells, I'm like, I don't know, I don't know. He didn't say one thing. He wasn't like, Drew sucks. Just he's turn over down. a new leaf. Like, he yeah, you'll figure, you'll you'll figure it out, Drew. He'll get, get this. Well, well, listen, Will Rice is dead. It's Will Nice now. Oh, wow. Will Nice. Yep. Yeah. Will Nice or Will Ice. He's either very cold or very kind. Fuck that Will Nice kid. I want mean old independent Will Rice back. Independent Will Rice. <laughs> no, no. Nobody wants that. No. <laughs> You should do me- uh, I that's just, that's nope, just Will nope. Ice now. That, that's Will Ice. <laughs> that is okay. Will Ice. Okay, here's what we do. As he's wrapping it up, every few seconds we just 
just say Calvin P. <laughs> Calvin P. <laughs> yeah. KP. I mean, his name is technically <laughs> Calvin P. Calvin P. If you want to abbreviate his last name. Calvin Peeper. Nope, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I hear it. I what hear a, it now. What? I hear it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Welcome so, back to the bathroom, Calvin. Thank you. <laughs> as the... As the schooner continues on its path, uh, the last, the final two days of this trip towards uh, Metal City, uh, the boat is repaired to the best of its ability. It will limp its way uh, to the city for further repairs. But uh, Captain Highland is very thankful. He uh, tells you all such. He's like, "Well, shoot, I, I wasn't expecting to survive that. It was uh, we were we were goners. If it hadn't been for for you lot, you." Uh, you saved, you saved your butts. That, that much is for sure. You were... Whew, oh, you guys sure, know yeah. what you're doing. Yep. You, you wonder like why you. Galen likes us. Yeah, you guys are you guys are like professionals. Yeah, I was not panicking the entire time while I was stuck under the town instead of a barrel. You were under the... You were... Yep, I was in the barrel. Whew. And this son of a bitch... Is, oh, I mean... Sky Pig. Does I told you we're not terms? the unprofessionals. Like you guys seem sure, surely professional to me. You you knew what you were doing. And you, you you knocked it out of the park. I'm done trying to create group names. It's not happening. <laughs> who who came up with Protagony, that. actually? I think, your, I think it was Will. That's your he was. He did, yeah, yeah, Will, he you did. came up with Protagony. That's nope. fire. I've, I've shot quite a many rounds out this campaign. Some of which are pretty good, but, you know. Mm. I mean... And, that, and that's why we don't. And that's why we don't have it. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying we'll know it when we hear it. But you Probably have to start saying them if you're gonna yeah, hear them. Exactly. So he shouldn't be deterred. Would love to. Would love to, would love to hear, would love to hear, love to hear some. other ones. Yeah. I'm all absolutely. about saying them. Would love to hear a couple. That's that's not my forte. I'm band names girl. And shooting down everyone else's ideas. Only when they're bad. But ideas. I digress. <laughs> so, <laughs> the final two days of the journey, uh, obviously you're continuing to work on the or focus. Go ahead and roll a tinkering check for me, uh, Glyph, to see how well that goes. Uh, ooh, that's going to be great, Liz, because that's an ant 20 plus 5. Ooh. ooh. Within the next two days, you finish your device and present it uh, to her. Uh, go ahead and tell her what she is presented with. Okay, so it's not a sword. But it is like, and I'd scoured the deck for one of them mm-hmm. because figure would beat the bird up. Sure. So there had to be a couple feathers. Oh, absolutely. So it's like a like, uh, like a dark mahogany and black steel like fountain pen with a nice little rock feather at the end. And Ooh, now, kind of cool. uh, kind of taking inspiration from the way that we do magic. Uh, it's your spellcasting focus, and you can literally use it to write into the air what it is that you are casting. And if someone takes our weapons away, no one's going to take your pen away. So. Nice. Yes. And it will do it actually will do uh, damage. Um, I will say that it will do I'll give you the specifics, but because it is black steel, mm-hmm. that has a different indentation in this world. So I'll kind of, I'll work out the, I'll make your fountain pen for you. Okay. So, Thank and we'll you. get on D&D Beyond there. Not a sponsor yet. Um, the greatest veneration. The what? Teammate. The greatest veneration. No. If the first response. The greatest is the veneration. Ones, I no, I thought he was. I thought he was talking bad. about the. You I thought he was a pen. I'm sorry. I no, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I was asking for clarification. I don't, oh, know, a, I don't know what veneration is. No, your wife's eyes. The dead look. <laughs> don't, you have to ignore them. You have to live to learn to. Ignore I've them. literally been over um, half this time, so they've just been dead tonight. Like. Nevertheless, the party continues the last uh, few days of the uh, journey and arrives at Metal City, a a large civilization by some means. It looks to be what was once a kind of like a uh, walled in like fortress uh, with what one large main uh, kind of citadel uh, flanked by much smaller kind of uh, huts and what have you. But even from this distance, you can tell there are probably several hundred, if not uh, a few thousand uh, residents of this city. Um, Again, being the last bastion of civilization before you reach uh, the border, it is definitely going to be uh, the last place that you will see humans. Um, And as you step off, 
of the docks uh, as you arrive. Uh, Captain Highland uh, imparts to you guys one more piece of advice as you guys go. He goes, now, before you get off here, I want to just level something with you. Now, in, in Mecca City, there's, you know, there's there's people and there's other people. And, uh, well, out here, you're, you're mostly just going to find people. Uh, and some of you, not to, not to not to point out the obvious, some of you aren't, uh, some of you aren't quite normal looking people so uh most of, I w- us. Mo- most of you so you can I, w- I would just uh i would advise normal's relative i would i would advise uh discretion and uh you know make uh make make wise choices make friends mm, just make wise choices make out here friends uh, is a wise choice you you could definitely try to do that but uh just watch yourselves and there's no uh, out here it's I try to everyone watches each other's while. backs and uh you know, I don't take too kindly to newcomers, so. But uh, I never been. Best of luck. Uh, if you wanna, you wanna find histories of this place, I suggest talking to the temple. Their their priests are the only ones that have been here for generations. So if anybody knows where this Vic Ferron is, it's gonna be one of them guys. So that's that'd be my suggestion. Right. But uh, well, thank you much for the safe ish travel here. Uh, yeah, any any time. Uh, if you need something. Uh, Holler, Holler Galen, I guess. And, Cliff, uh, do you have anything you want to say or ask or anything? No, I'm good. It's fine. Respect. I, I, I respect it. Hell of a fighter. You, are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. Well, all hey, right. Said all needs to be said. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. I mean, I <laughs> feel like we've been through so much. In only four days' time. He's, uh... Quite something. Bye now. Do you guys love each other? <laughs> I feel like it's a mutual respect for one another. That, yeah. That's just one one comrade. Could, could it be I mean, he, he flew my ship. That's uh. That's a guy love that, right there. You, you don't. Yeah. You don't. Uh, you, you don't get you too don't many people to do, do that. that. You don't let anyone steer your ship. Yeah. Well, best of luck. <laughs> See ya. And he gets on the uh, <laughs> most awkward. Uh, it's, uh, he, check. He felt the there. awkward. Perception uh, check. Was he blushing? B- <laughs> Balefire watches me. My eyes are awkward. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I know, right? I, I don't know what was happening. No. The hell's wrong with this guy? He's usually the chatterbox of the group. Oh, are you? He's already. He's already walking into are town. Are you jealous? Because I. He's, he's, already, he's not there. He's already walking into town. <laughs> He was talking. He was talking. I think he's jealous. You think so? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. All right, let's go find it. Um, you all begin to one by one head into the town to find out where, hopefully, where Vic Fron is, I and hope, I hope uncover here. more information on. The Draconians Draconian, right? and their history. Draconian. And that is where we are going to end the session tonight. Not. We will pick up next week with you guys entering Metal City, a somewhat welcoming place. We'll have to see how that pans out, but I'm sure you guys, you guys are professionals. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I haven't seen people walk here. You guys are Good <laughs> but until the, until that time, thank you for uh, reminding me. Until that time, yes. thank you guys so much for playing. Thank you all for listening. Until next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Wild Magic School Bus. I hope you had as much fun listening as we did making this for you. You can catch new episodes each Monday on whatever podcasting platform you use. And while you're there, leave us a review if you want. It actually helps us out. We've got socials, too. You can follow us on Reddit at r slash wildmagicschoolbus, send us a subtweet at wildmagicschoolbuspod, or follow our Instagram at wildmagicpod. Either way, stop by and say hi. We're always happy to meet new friends. See you next time.
and we're talking straight Pixar, not Disney yeah. Pixar. I mean, I That's would so argue so Toy so Story so because it created the best franchise that Pixar had. The original Toy, Story. Story. Toy Story is a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to pull uh, Bugs up. Life is sneaky, very, very funny. I do like a Bugs Life. I haven't seen that one. No, I'm oh, It's like Drew, I will choke you. I feel like is by number one. Cars the, 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 what do you freaking what? mean? Do you like any out of, of the cars out of movies? any of the cars? The show. Out of any of the cars ones, which one's the worst? All of them. No, that uh, one three. where it starts with the three. First yeah, one. I was three. about to say. I was worst like, one. which one's three? Two, two. I like almost better three? than the first one because the which second one's one three? Is just yeah. kind of funny and so the first one, one, the second one was like the well, it really? focused on Mater, right? And, the, like, and the third one was like he was he had to teach a new up and coming racer. Yeah, the best picks. Um. So okay, two so is definitely the worst. Uh, even to talk to him. Yeah, I don't. Well, I, I don't like three. It, just, it felt movie. unnecessary. It felt what unnecessary. Mean you can't say that. Two, two no, is very no. disjointed. No, two know. is very disjointed. Uh, so why are you watching? Yeah. Honestly, racing? honestly, the yeah. the sequels Rat of Cars were not is not the wor- the best. Thing. What he thinks Ratatouille is the best. You, okay, you that's right. your favorite was Ratatouille. 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 That's a great movie. Ratatouille is fucking fantastic. But it's not the best Pixar movie. What are we saying is? Okay. No, we're not. We're supposed to be talking about what's the worst. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's we're the whole crux. I right haven't now. seen all the Pixar movies. Hey, Michelle, so. weird question. Do you have any aloe vera? Okay. Did you so, think of one that I, I think the only on one that I no, haven't my freaking ears the only one I haven't seen is, is the it's new one that came out, the oh, Turning, Turning Red, Red one. I haven't, I haven't seen, seen that one. Uh, Turning Red seen, is good. Is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the only one that, that I think personally, if I had to pick the worst one in my opinion, it's going to be Cars Two. Wait, well, really? Yeah, that's gonna be. That's. Why did you say Cars Three? Answer your own question. Cars Three there? has no, racing in it. Right, that's the only reason. Cars Three, no. It's like they're at a race, but no one races. Right. What? Cars Two. Oh, true. Yeah, it's like no, it's just 007, and Mater is the one. Okay, what do you think? What is? What do you think? Let me pull up the list. Okay, so I know what. So the question is, there's really not a lot of them that are just straight Pixar. Pixar movie. Does it have little specs in it? Nope. Oh, and you guys, you, you, you probably you have. Here's the thing. I didn't watch it. Here's the thing, Will. Really you probably have. Blueberry Mountain. No, I haven't seen the Good Dinosaur. Lemon. You haven't seen the Good Dinosaur. Yeah, they're saying it's yeah. the worst. Yeah. I've never seen it before. It's oh, oh, controversial opinion, but I'm gonna say it. Oh, don't you dare. This is Wally sucks ass. Don't you dare. You get out of my. Wally is my favorite Pixar movie, hands down. So wait, what? Tell me. Hear him out. Wally is the human centipede. A Pixar film. No, what? Wholly unnecessary start to finish. Can no. you? What do you mean? Kill Will's character. A great. <laughs> hold on. A fantastic story of a robot who finds companionship in a world where no one loves him anymore without. With minimal think, dialogue. Because that's my minimal love story dialogue. That I would. I, it would resonate with How me. would you not get up to that? You uh, also like watch him. He's well, gonna say. I love that movie. shame. He's gonna so say Incredibles Two is his favorite Pixar movie. What, what about what about like oh. sub, no, sub, sub text? Life. What about the what about what about the like the human downfall subtext and stuff like? Is it too close to home? Oh, it's too so real. it's it's too oh, real for him. I mean, oh, it's too real. Like, 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 yeah, because like, what what other Pixar movie is oh. as realistic as Inside Out? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, that Inside Out's like all into your head. It's not. This is the future. This is the future of the world. It's not. This is the future of the world. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. do combat. Inside Out is a fantastic film. How can you appreciate like Wally Inside is Out just, be so insensitive that you think Wally is not? Because mm. Wally is just a very depressing we're, look at what our future probably is going to be. We're swinging from him to move to other people. It made him feel too much. Six our movie. Probably. What's your the worst? Best or worst? About though, right? What? Provoking emotion. Worst. Picture. Best or worst? What do you, what do you think? I What's like your opinion? Up. Because it makes me. Up is so freaking sad. I almost want to. I almost want to change my answer to up after because yeah, Wally's be, my favorite. Yeah, you should. I almost want to change the up. So my feeling is constantly through at me. Finish Jack Jack was the best part about it. <laughs> Listen here, four. I'm accepting you as you are. You better back the fuck up. It's a bug's life. <laughs> I th- Oh, I forget a lot about bugs. Yes, <laughs> your wife. <laughs> hey guys, hey guys, irrelevant, irrelevant. I like up more. Have you guys seen, sure. have you guys seen Ants with a Z with Woody Allen? Of course. Yeah, they made that. And also, bugs like me. Yeah. <laughs>